Welcome back. In our last video, you learned the 10 most critical questions to ask any AI vendor. But even with the perfect partner, there's one internal factor that can stop an AI project before it even starts, your data. Today, we're going to show you three simple sustainable habits to get your data ready for AI without needing a big budget or a team of experts. When you hear a term like data preparation, it's easy to picture a huge, expensive, and frankly, overwhelming project. You might think you need to fix every single spreadsheet, every database, every old record in your company before you can even start with AI. But the good news is that's actually a myth. In fact, trying to fix everything at once is the fastest way to get stuck and do nothing at all. Getting ready for AI isn't about being perfect. It's about being smart and focused. It's about building a few simple good habits that create momentum. Let's start with the most important one. The first and most important habit is to narrow your focus dramatically. Don't try and clean up all of your data at once. Instead, think about a simple quick win problem that you want to solve and then ask yourself, what is the absolute minimum data needed to solve only that one problem? Let's take a common example, automating appointment reminders. Right now, your front desk is spending hours every single day manually calling clients. You know that automating this is an immediate quick win. The trap is to think, to do this, we need to digitize all of our client records. That's a massive project that could actually take months. Instead, try focusing on a single problem and you realize the only data that you truly need is this makes the task finite, achievable, and gets you to your goal so much faster. The second habit is all about prioritizing consistency over complexity. There's a common belief that to be AI ready, you need to go out and buy expensive, complicated new software. But this is actually not the best place to start. The most valuable, sustainable thing you can do is to get your team to be consistent with the tools that you already have. Let's take a simple example, dates. Imagine you have a booking system where one person on your team, but to a computer or an AI, there are completely different pieces of data. And this small inconsistency is what causes automation projects to fail. So the habit to build is simple. Create a rule that everyone on the team must enter the date in the same format every time. This simple discipline is the absolute foundation of good data, and it costs nothing but a little bit of team focus. The third and final habit is to create ownership. This is another area where business to be the data champion for your project. This person isn't a coder or an analyst. They are simply the one person who is officially responsible for the quality of the data for that one problem that you're trying to solve. For example, let's say you're focused on your appointment data. You could ask your head receptionist to be the data champion. This person's new responsibility isn't some extra project. It's simply to be the person who can spot when a phone number is entered incorrectly and has the authority to gently ask a colleague to fix it. By giving this one person a small focused ownership, you can create a culture of accountability. The data gets better day by day, and not because of a complex tool, but because someone on your team is empowered to care about it. So to recap, focus on one problem and prioritize consistency, and then appoint a data champion. These three simple habits are a sustainable way to prepare your business for AI success. Getting your data right is the technical foundation, but the biggest challenge is often the human one. In our next video, we will explore how to get your people ready for AI. Thank you for watching.